There is nothing on a piece of paper. There is no signed agreement. My question is, how could they possibly include that amount in our budget, not knowing for sure when we're going to get it, if we're going to get it, how we're going to get it? They're using 10.5 million. Rolling the dice, that's what a councilman in the Cataract City is accusing the mayor of tonight. He says the city's proposed $106 million budget for next year is counting on state money. That's not a sure thing. And now he's asking the state controller's office to step in. News 4's Jen Schantz has reaction from both sides of this debate from Niagara Falls City Hall. The current budget proposal for next year includes an anticipated $12.3 million in state money. According to Mayor Deister's office, that's money the city of Niagara Falls is owed in unpaid casino revenue from last year. His office says one way or another, that money's coming in. Republican Councilman Kenny Tompkins isn't so sure. Thursday, he asked the state comptroller's office to review the current proposed budget, which he says is financially reckless. How do you possibly budget on what ifs? Because what if it doesn't come? Mayor Paul Deister, a Democrat, released a statement Friday saying in part that Tompkins is, quote, grandstanding in a gubernatorial election year. Deister says Governor Cuomo committed to the advancement of casino funds. In 2016, the Seneca Nation stopped sharing a portion of its profits with the state, claiming the original agreement had expired. The state is currently in arbitration with the Seneca Nation. From Tompkins' perspective, the current budget proposal's language is too broad. At the council meeting, they brought up the fact that it was up to $12.3 million. Well, up to is a lot of stuff. Is it $9 million? Is it $6 million? Is it... You know, 11 5. How can you possibly put into a proposed budget an amount that you don't know what the amount is? News 4 reached out to the state's budget office to see when specifically the state plans to give Niagara Falls access to the advancement and exactly how much the city will get. We're still waiting on a response. Deister has said without help from the state, the Cataract City is looking at wide scale layoffs and hefty tax increases. He's proposing a $2.5 million tax cut in next year's budget, which he says will be partially offset by garbage user fees. City leaders have up until December 15th of this year to approve a budget for 2019. Reporting from Niagara Falls City Hall, Jen Schantz, News 4.